with you live on your chin. Oh, kid. Oh. <laughs> this is the Going Deep Show. Live with you. You mitten, bitch. You stupid fucking cunts. I want to go deep. Go deep. Fuck it. Fighting for the powers of evil is good as dumb. That had a very melodic tone to it. It was like I was singing there for a second. I'm the kid. This is going deep show. Hi. Time to chill. Have a little coffee sips. Little drinky drinks. Little sippers. I think this is the only time I ever feel myself these days. It really does. It feels... It, it, it's, it's like my comfort zone. It's like when I'm playing baseball. When I'm sitting here in this chair... Running my mouth knowing that people are out there fucking tuning in, hearing my stupid shit. Joining me for more stupid shit. Literally. It's Nurse Fiona, what's up? One more shift. Fiona. One more shift. <laughs> Holy shift. You don't seem sad at all. You don't seem like you're upset. You don't seem any of this. I'll wipe my tears with $100 bills after I cash my first check. Oh, my God. Do you, want your, do you ever go to a strip club? <laughs> Have you? I mean, I've been in one, but I haven't actually participated, which... Participated? Like, you've never had a dance? I've never had one, never given one, never... No. Is, no. That, is that anything I've, that would I've appeal to you? I've seen strippers, male and female, but, like, at private parties, not, uh, not in a strip club. Is that anything that you would think would be, like, appealing at all? I don't know. I guess it depends on ask the stripper. You, you got the you got the make it rain money going. That's so that's the reason. When you just said that, I'm going to wipe my tears with dollar hundred dollar bills. And be like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking letting it rain, just, man. Just let it fly. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I guess it would depend on the stripper. If the stripper like, I don't even think they have to be like in great, uh, you know, like amazing shape. As long as they're they're good at what they do, and they know how to make it uh, appealing. There was a really strange thing that happened last time I was at the strip club. There was a, I, I have to assume, female, wandering through the strip joint. But her, the the figure, the, the, the appearance was all man. Like, it looked like a... The, Burly? It was, no, thin, super skinny, super thin. Adam's apple. I did look for the Adam's apple. <laughs> Here's, here, but what throw what threw me the more, the worst was okay. The body was all man from head to midsection. Okay. And then there's the rounds that they do. They go from pole. You start off on this pole. You go to the next pole. It's like on deck circle, you know. And then yep. and then you come out. And so when the person was on deck, I was like, okay, let's let's see this. This is gonna be something here because I was questioning whether or not this was a female at this point. Sure enough, comes out. Danced amazing, stuck her pussy like right at the edge of the damn stage. Mm-hmm. All woman, oh. all woman. I was like, I was completely fucked. She was so androgynous, isn't that the ter- is that the term? Yes. Where it's like you can't tell her it's one or the other. It's just that she her her lower half was fucking insane, hot as hell. Her upper half was like her upper manly. half was very like a man. It's like Seinfeld. She had man hands. If she, if <laughs> from the back, from the back, if you didn't look at her very curvaceous ass and a little bit of hips, a little mm-hmm. bit of hips, that's mm-hmm. the only thing that gave, that that let me aware that she was actually female. You would have thought it was a guy standing there. That's not attractive. That's not even remotely attractive. It was the strangest dynamic of. Looking at her upper half and going like, eh. like you could and use then, your hand to like cut the one half off and cut the other hand off and then yes, like, dude, chick, dude, absolutely. chick, dude, chick. When I looked at her upper half, I was like, yeah, but then I looked down, I was like, whoa, and it was, it was like a weird upsy downsy. Okay to fuck, not okay to fuck. Okay to fuck, not okay to fuck. Exactly, <laughs> it was the strangest fucking. Thing. Probably got crabs. Probably got crabs anyway. <laughs> yeah, crabs herpes, herpes, all herpes, over. herpes. <laughs> so anyway. It's yeah. a good transition into what we were going to transition. <laughs> Segway. Uh, Segway. We like Segway. Uh, Saturday night, LB and I decide we're going to do some bar hopping. Jesus. <laughs> Never a good thing. Never a good thing to promise Nurse Fiona that you're not going to get too trash to do a show in the morning. Yeah, do you well, remember that text message? Thing? I do remember that. I was thinking about that as you were telling me what was going on. And I'm like, well, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> it was. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little disappointed, disappointed. because I, 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 I was like, not only did you, <laughs> did you have topics? I promise. I know. I'm terrible at these promises. You know, no, not 
no, it's just because I never promised really. I just said for, I'll for, try for your own well being. And what I couldn't figure out was, and you told me, so so it made sense. And I guessed also before you told me, but what the fuck you went all the way out there for? Uh, and I was, get it. There was a band playing out there, and my friend that you met, Silver. Yeah, she was out there, and she's. Uh, I've never, I have not told her about the show. I don't, have, I don't have any intentions of telling her about the show. There's no, there's no way she's going to know about the show. Every my new policy here on the on this program is, what happens here in the back, this little back room, are for certain individuals only and not for everyone. Mm-hmm. This just doesn't. It, it, if they if they want to participate, but there, there should be some things that are secretive. Well, if you want to participate, the then 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 it's fucking game on, bitch. So so if we, you want to participate and you want to listen, then it's game on. The night that that we hung out though, when you, where you got a chance to meet her, that was a weird night too because I was actually met up with somebody prior to that that I met on the <laughs> dating app too. So it was, it's I'm not I'm I'm all about making friends. I'm not about any type of intimate, uh, romantic or sexual relationship with any of these people. I am very much trying to do my best to focus on work, focus on the podcasts, letting every, letting everyone else be. And, and this is this has. You could tell. I can tell when there's a little bit of chemistry or something going go. on, and then, and I, I just want to be friends with everybody. And even if there's not chemistry, everybody has stories. Everybody wants to come into this situation. So, however, here's so what happened. And you might not be right, but if you came across one of these broads and like came on, like just like Peter Northam, all up in her face and shit, just like fucking facial, okay. Uh, but if you met up with one of these one of these women and like say like you like oh, I'll meet you at da 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 for dinner, and you've gone through like however many of these and you're just like eh, you know not really, and then you meet up and and like eyes lock and like the whole fucking chemistry hits and all this shit, you're not looking for it, you're not trying for it, but like then you start talking and then she's like hilarious and she's fucking hot and she's fucking. Settled Man, and do she's I tell smart her and she's got and she's raunchy as fuck. Well, do we, we, I, I, yes, you've that, been there. I've had this already, but that doesn't. That, this is what my that fear one is. woman does not define all women. I know, I know, I know. Just I like know. one bad relationship with a man, and really, you guys didn't have a bad relationship. It just, no. it didn't. It just, it went from something to nothing. In fact, like, I thought we had a really extremely good one. You did. It just like all it of a sudden came to a screeching ass fucking halt for no good over, reason. A lot of overthinking. It was. It was her. Whatever deep seated issues and whatever they are, they're her business, and uh, they're probably legitimate to her. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm not downplaying anybody's anybody's fear going into a relationship. Mine, but, is, mine is constantly being, being <laughs> having exactly what happened happen. But I, I like to I want to give myself to somebody to like have a relationship with them. But then every time I do, it seems like I get fucking the rug pulled out from under me. Anyway, that kind of does happen though. So trust me, I know it fucking sucks. <laughs> I know there's lots of regret. There's lots of regret. I've noticed as you get older, regret happens more often. So let's circle back around. I want to I want to sum this up as fast as fucking possible. All right. LB and I do some bar hopping. We yep. go out to A, B, and C in town. Yep. We get to C, and the reason that I can think I'm thinking about this is because we were talking I'm just a briefly for a moment about the stripper with no titties. Okay. Mm-hmm. We go to Chet's. There's this waitress working at Chet's. Cute face, very chiseled look, really good looking girl, brunette, no titties, no fucking titties. She's is she like real thin? Thin. She was wearing like a half C shirt, wearing a half yeah. shirt. Yeah. Every time she's reaching up, total midriff, everything's going on. Right. Yeah. She looks great, great asshole. But whole no thing. tits. No tits. So I'm LB's just like gawking, and, and you can't help but look as she's like wandering back and forth. Me, I'm I'm more of a, a tits. okay. Well, I have to be because I spent two years no tits, two years with fucking endo no tits. So I told LB this. I said, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit what she could be. She could have a fucking golden vagina. I don't care. No titties. This is I don't care. It's a game changer. No way. I'm not gonna do it. So he looks and he's like, dude, I bet she's had kids. And I'm like, what? I'm like, look at her, dude. She looks like she was she was total rail thin. Like I, I'm like, there's no way. He's like, no. He goes, her her uh, her her pants are down low enough. I saw her C-section scar. Okay. So I'm like, what? Yep. <laughs> so sure enough, we we strike up the conversation. Two fucking kids this bitch had. Yep. Two fucking kids. Yep. Are you fucking out of your mind? Two kids. Fucking some women bounce back. Most women do not. No, she, she bounced, man. She not. did. I don't know what you would call me, but I'm definitely not. I'm kind of in the middle, I think. 
You know, she was. I think she was thirty-seven years old. All right. But she was like, yeah, super thin anyway. It was. Uh, but I've been super thin, but it, you can, when the clothes are on, you can't <laughs> tell that there were any kids. When the clothes are off, there's a little evidence for me. Mm-hmm. You couldn't tell after the boys. That after, was that was the thing that kind of you was, could tell a little bit after the twins was shock. Not really shocking to me about the the last one. Her body was pretty solid. She had kids that were older and stuff like that. But uh, I want to get into something here before we kind of derail derail a little bit. <laughs> we're, we're, into, we're, we're halfway through the show already. Uh, I get up this morning. I have all sorts of issues going on, adulting. So usually what happens when I do that is I start to clean the house. I start to control things that I know I can control. You know, if you've let let things kind of go, I've done laundry. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm doing all I'm doing. I'm cleaning the house. I'm going crazy. You know, stuff. When when stuff's out of your control, you try to go and control the things that you can control. Sure. Is, that, is that a good way to think about it? Yes. So I, I go into my drawer, my top drawer, and there's like panties in there from Endo. Yeah. And there's like a lot of these stockings and stuff that she used to have and yeah. a couple of her shirts. But the one thing I found was uh, this cock, two, like four cock rings in there. Oh, fuck. One vibrating cock ring. Three different sized cock rings <laughs> ones you're supposed to use together you ever seen where they use them together I've never de- I've never delved into that world the cock ring no is, is uh, it does some it does some impressive shit the cock ring well, it a- keeps 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 you from like fucking going flaccid after you blow that but also makes you fucking hard as shit while you're there okay it's just so it's, it's like the pre-cum dick it's, it's like the literal like badass. the moment before you come dick it, yeah. Oh, yeah. But it, yeah, it's it's good shit. It is good shit. But it's the whole time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Arm and hand. It's fun. It's fun to have. It's fun to play with. I haven't done it in a long, long, long time. But, but it, it, and it doesn't affect your feeling. That's that's always like, no, kind of like it doesn't no. it doesn't diminish it. No, I think it amps it up because it's sending more like blood to the to the to the end, to the tip. Okay. So, yeah, it gets a little sensitive and it's good. It's good. But here's okay. the thing I kept I kept thinking to myself. After relationship, post relationships, there's always these things that are like lingering throughout the house, throughout the. I went, I went into the closet, went into the closet, and there's like pictures and shit. But the one thing that was in the closet was the foam wedge, the foam sex the wedge. The ass pillow. Yes, the foam sex <laughs> wedge. Now, have you ever used this thing? Yeah. Yeah. What is your technique for using this thing? Because I've only used it ass a few up. times. Right, but. Ass up on ground, on bed, on the, the on the to fucking. Me, it, it's like a ramp for your ass, for my ass. Right, it's a ramp. Right, it's an ass ramp. It's an ass ramp. <laughs> it's the ass pillow, man. It's the ass ramp. Like, <laughs> like when you want to get that better angle, okay? Because it's mm-hmm. not, it's not easy to get an angle. You're on your fucking knees. You're fucking railing the fuck out of. But you want to like get more... the better. You want to get the better. You know, the entryway. Uh-huh. You fucking needs to lift that shit up, and that's what that pillow is there for. It obviously, I obviously didn't work it as good as I wanted to work it then because I I like it when the 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 leg spread by the female can go backs and forth to raise up and down the entrance. So what you're saying is you need, no. you, need you need a you need a gynae table. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, with the stirrups and shit. <laughs> how tall are you? You got the numbers punched into a computer. You just like just how tall are you? Put your no, legs five, in the seven. put your feet in the stirrups and let your legs fall to the side. Now you're measuring them like you're like they're getting their pants tr- like fucking tailored and shit. Okay, this isn't a speculum, is but we'll we'll just we'll just pretend. You're like <laughs> how, what's your inseam? <laughs> I need to know what your inseam is so I can adjust your fucking snatch to my proper height. I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna examine your snooch, ma'am. Here's the thing about this, though. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reveal a couple of things. I can do this now because I don't fucking work at the old place I used to work. <laughs> there were times when uh, the, my, the, the the tall blonde there used to come and visit me. Under your desk. And no, no, it was under the desk. We would go downstairs, and I'd fucking bend over the pool table. Oh fuck yeah! I have a pool table. I have a pool table. <laughs> <laughs> I bent her over the pool table, and it was bl- she would if I could I had the balls to call her and ask her. She I would say, uh, how, "What was the fastest time anybody's ever come?" And she would be like, oh, "I'm pool table." <laughs> she, it was it was that heightened sense of like, "Oh, we're gonna get caught. We're gonna get caught." That and then there's like hot and it's bent over the pool table. Bent over was the pool table. Perfect angle. That's, perfect. Angle. Now correct me if I'm wrong. Because, like, I'm sure all positions are, like, probably good positions if you're fucking, if you're a guy. But bend the woman over and fuck her from behind 
is the, is the surefire way to get you to fucking nut fast. Oh, I love like that Like the shit. fastest way to get you to nut. Yeah, and when you look down and they're bendy enough where they can look up and they're watching your fucking balls just smack them in the clit, that's like the best. Uh, I love that when, I, when but you... But that's, that's the number one way to come yeah. fastest, right? There's no yeah. other way. The, to come the fastest? The fastest. Prob- probably, yeah. For a dude. Yeah. For a guy. Okay. I've done it where I've taken uh, an old video cam, not not a video cam, like one of those little, like, uh, what do they call them? They, they had like a, back in the days, there used to be, like a 10 years ago, there were these little cameras you could buy. And you could, t- they were just pocket cams. Like a, like a backup camera. <laughs> and, I, uh, <laughs> and I was doing this position. And I put the camera down by her head, so it was pointing straight up. It was like the most <laughs> fucking amazing footage I've ever seen in my life. I'm just like, yeah, it was good. It's, it's out there in the world, guys. Find it. I Go need, find it. I need to figure that shit out. Actually, I don't know if I can fucking. That's that's that sounds like the epic as fuck. It's fun shit, man. Put a cock ring on while you're doing it. Jesus Christ! Holy <laughs> crap! <laughs> Game changer. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Game the fuck on. Dude, I'm off on a tangent. I'm, I'm imagining things now. Was it talk- Okay, no, no, no. Back to what I was saying though, about about the, the angles and stuff. There was a chair also downstairs. An ugly fucking chair. Had the worst upholstery I've ever ugly seen in my fuck life. Chair. It was Seriously, it was an ugly <laughs> fuck chair. And I think, yeah, I did both Endo and the one before on that chair. And the chair was just the perfect fucking amount of give with spring action. <laughs> it was. Do it I was s- spring action, but it was like completely hit the fucking G spot. Perfect. Perfect chair. Like if if that What chair, happened to this chair? If that chair is still down in that basement. You're gonna fucking steal their chair. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, dude, what do you want for this oh, fucking buy it from you or you just donate it? For, and here's the thing. The only reason that that chair probably still exists is because that of the the angle and the spring action on that chair because it was I'm telling you the most fucking god awful looking chair ever. <laughs> it had all these patterns and paisley fucking stupid shit on it and it was probably a white chair at one point but somebody came on that fucking thing so many times it turned into this fucking nasty shit. But yeah, it was uh this it was so it was a perfect ugly. It was you got to put a bag over its head. <laughs> perfect bag chair. It re- bang chair. It was <laughs> You know, the only the only other time this is going to be seems so really fucking weird. Pier One Imports used to have a <laughs> <laughs> not a sponsor, not a sponsor, <laughs> not a sponsor. Oh, they used fuck. to have this little thing called the raspberry, I think they called it, or, or at least that's what we called it. Called it the little raspberry, and it was this circle pillow. It was like a big circle pillow. <laughs> and how we used it was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What's fucked up is we took the circle pillow back. We took we fucked that a bunch of times and took the fucker back. I got the receipt and didn't Here do it what it was intended to do. Why is there a bunch of ice cream on it? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Bitch likes ice cream. Shut up. Fuck it. Give me my money. So we, we stuck it in, uh, like right next to the couch. Yeah. You start where it's close to the couch, but the thing was, it, it rolled. It had a little bit of a roll to it. So it was a round, not a cylinder. It was a disc. Yeah. It was it was like a, a, it like was a like plushy a com- disc. It was like a complete ball, but I think the bottom half had just a very subtle flatness to it, so that it would sit in one spot without rolling around. Yeah, the yeah, room. yeah. So oh, we started yeah. off close to the bed, close to the couch, and she got on and started riding. But as we were doing it, it started to uh, creep back a little bit, which made it even better because I, I'm underneath. She's riding me. My ass could go down between it and the couch and then fucking come hammering time back up. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. Spring loaded action. Fuck. Spring load. Spring load. Precisely. Literally. We had <laughs> nothing to talk about on that But one, we talked apparently. about everything. Literally. <laughs> Thank you. I'm the kid. This is Going Deep Show. Appreciate you guys here talking, talking with us. Fiona. I feel, like, I feel like I did a lot of the talking in that one, and you just were kind of here for laughter. You, you lost your shit when I said Pier 1 Imports. I'm, fucking, I'm sorry. Like, I'm like, <laughs> we're going to have a little afternoon. We're going to you know, go shopping at Pier 1, buy an ass pillow. We did. We did. We, we're going to buy an ass pillow. The thing is, I, I think in my brain, she knew exactly what she wanted to do with that fucking thing. I mean, yeah. you can use anything for anything, yeah. really. Oh, yeah. Anyway, final words. You can use anything for anything. <laughs> ass pillow, man. Get it. I'm the kid. This is going deep show. 
Happy fucking New Year's, motherfuckers. Mm. We're going to have a resolution episode coming up here pretty soon. See you guys soon. <laughs> Till the next one. <laughs> Pure one. <laughs>